Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to test the 50mm 1.8G which is an F mount lens with the Nikon Z50. But today we are going to test it to get portrait photography. Now with this uh, test, we're going to use two lights, very cheap ones. One is this newer TT560 speed light, which I bought for around $30. And I will use this as a slave, and put it in a stand, and then the Nikon SB300, the cheapest of all the Nikon speed light as the master. What we are aiming today is a high contrasty uh, portrait, which I have not done before. So we will try it with our model Arnie. And so let's see if this works. Let's go. So we took some more shots from the sofa, but we're not gonna show you this ones. The previous shots were directly from the camera, by the way. This upcoming shots were taken with normal setting, but we edited it to show in the monochrome profile. So I'm going to show you this monochrome photos taken with this camera with the 50mm 1.8G. So here they are in high contrast. These are just basic edits. We did not do anything with the skin, just adjusted some levels. And here are the results. They are actually good, considering that not much edit or done with this one. No Photoshop edits with this one. So the texture of the skin is what it was taken with in the use of the light. And this upcoming ones are also products of experiment in light, deflecting it with some objects or putting it through objects and here are the results. Again, we intended not to edit it, no photoshops, just the basic contrast and uh, level ups and downs. No photoshop or a touching of the skin. So this is how we get with this lens with the Z50, of course with the FTZ adapter. So what do you think of the shots that we have produced with the Nikon 
50mm 1.8G lens, the F mount lens attached to the Z50. I think it did very well considering that it's the first time also that I, I tried to use this kind of setup. I am more comfortable of doing photography in natural light. I thought this would be a difficult one but it was it wasn't actually I took a lot of pictures which I I'm not shown here because there's too much so I think this is a very good portrait lens if you are using the Nikon Z50 50 millimeter when you put it into crop sensor body it will effectively give you around 75 millimeter focal length so it's still good for portrait photography for headshots and it works amazing the autofocus is no problems but basically if you are starting into hobby photography I think this is a very good very very good lens or attach with the Nikon Z50 I'd be trying to use this more, maybe attach it to the Nikon Z6. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you are okay wherever you are considering our situation right now. My situation has been not pretty well because of this in my neck. It's kind of hard even to eat. But yeah, I'm gonna have to survive this. So, I hope to see you again in the next video, and thank you for watching.